challenge, so gather around and just a couple of minutes of theory for you. Come and look. Okay, so the circuit we built just now was a low pass filter. In other words, what it did for us. And if you hear a phone conversation, you can sometimes hear high frequency hissing and whining and things like that. Especially if you're talking to, uh, to my kids or something over the phone. So you want to get rid of that high frequency because it's annoying. And that's what you just did. You built a circuit with a cutoff frequency of 10 kilohertz. So in other words, pretty much most of the signal has disappeared at 10 kilohertz. So you only get the low level frequencies that you would associate with a voice. Um, the other type of filter that you can have is the type of filter which knocks out low frequency. So if you've got a, a circuit which has got a nasty kind of bass oscillation to it, or mains is a common thing that you want to get rid of. You've got a lovely amplifier that works fine, but you've got a mm, noise, which is caused by it's picking up the mains uh, on one of the buses inside. So the way that you can solve that, we can do it with inductors, but the way that you can solve that if you wanted to, is you can knock that frequency out. So now effectively what we do is we turn the circuit on its head, or back to front. So now what we have, if we have a capacitor here, and a resistor here, and this point here, this is V out, this is V in, which is obviously C, this is obviously R. What I want is I want a circuit which lets through the high frequency but blocks the low frequency. The opposite to what we had before. So if I feed in low frequency here, what does this capacitor do? It's a huge resistor. It blocks it. It's effectively open circuit. Okay, so at low frequency, if I feed in low here, so here's my low frequency, what I get out here, and you saw this on the scope before, is a tiny little waveform. But it's the opposite to what it was before now. If I feed in a high frequency, a high frequency waveform, what's this uh, capacitor do? It's a wire, yeah, that's right. It's, it's effectively a short circuit. So it's like it isn't there, it's like it's a piece of wire, and whatever I put in at V in, I get it V out. If I plot a graph of my observations, those two points that I just made, well, I know that I start off with nothing here, and I know that a high frequency, because this is frequency, and this is the amplitude, I know that I start off there somewhere and I end up there. But it's not just a straight line. We know it's exponential in nature. And we see this kind of effect. So that's what that circuit should do for us. So what I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to create my first circuit too, or whatever you want to call it. And I'd like you to design me a high pass filter, which is what that is, a high pass filter with a frequency, a cut off frequency, which we down here by the way, a cut off frequency of seven kilohertz, seven thousand hertz. Now what's the design equation for that? Well oddly it's the same as it is for the uh, low pass filter. Exactly the same. Okay, so make your assumption like you did before. Take your resistor value, whatever resistor you're going to use. Plug the resistor into the equation and work out what the value of the capacitor is that you need to be able to use. Quite a few people on 903, isn't there? So this is okay doing this exercise. Isn't it?